Aren't you just sick and tired of being lectured about your lifestyle by mega rich celebrities? Climate change is real. It is happening right now. Let us not take this planet for granted. Except, of course, if you need your eyebrows plucked before the Oscars, in which case, screw the planet and fly makeup artist Sharon Lee Hamilton from Sydney to LA. A round trip of 15,000 miles, that's 14 metric tons of CO2 emissions. Now, to be fair, DiCaprio denied that he was personally responsible for flying out Hamilton. And that's really believable, isn't it? Because we know Leo is a committed eco-warrior with steadfast principles, right? Absolutely fucking not. DiCaprio took a private jet 4,000 miles from Cannes to New York to pick up an environmental award, then flew another 4,000 miles straight back to France. That's another four metric tons of CO2 emissions. He also flew on a private jet to Brazil for the World Cup, then stayed on a 470-foot yacht owned by Sheikh Mansour, whose 30 billion plus wealth primarily comes from oil. By the way, that yacht uh, is equal to, uses fuel equal to 83 American households' annual worth of CO2 David, emissions. And just three months later, DiCaprio was in New York for the People's Climate March, alongside protesters who held signs that said, keep the oil in the ground. It is the most urgent threat facing our entire species. Yeah, it's such an urgent threat that DiCaprio took six round-trip private jet flights in just six weeks between April and May 2014. He also took a private jet from LA to Las Vegas and stayed in Vegas for just eight hours to attend a party before flying all the way back again. In 2015, as the hottest year in recorded history. Leo was so worried about global warming that just months after that speech, he flew his celebrity friends 6,000 miles from LA to Saint-Tropez. So they could listen to his speech on, you guessed it, global warming. But Leo has to travel. If he didn't take all these private jets everywhere, how could he possibly warn the world about the deadly danger of climate change? Surely he's compensating for it in other areas. Surely he's compensating for his movie The Beach, which was accomplished as a result of a precious ecosystem in Thailand being completely ruined. Maybe he's compensating for it when he preaches about the need to curb overfishing, then screens a film about overfishing at a foundation bash, then serves his guests whole sea bass having flown them all in on CO2 belching helicopters. <sighs> but to be fair to Leo, he's only following the example set down by Bono. But who rails against climate change, yet spent $1,500 to fly a hat he'd forgotten from England all the way to Italy. Or the example set by Al Gore. It is half man, half bear, and half pig. Whose electricity usage in one property alone was 20 times the national average, who lectures everyone about a catastrophic rise in sea levels, then buys an Oceanside Villa. Leo, you're a great actor, but you're a terrible virtue signaller. And when it comes to being environmentally friendly, you're a very naughty boy. You're literally the worst possible ambassador for this imaginable. You say fossil fuels should be taxed out of existence, but if this happened, your lifestyle would cease to exist. Please. Leonardo DiCaprio. You need to shut the fuck up! <laughs> Click the link below to subscribe to the channel. And for more breaking news, go to Infowars.com. The making of the President 2016, how Donald Trump orchestrated a revolution. This is the untold story of how Trump defied all the odds to win the presidency. From former Trump confidant Roger Stone, the inside scoop of how Trump rocked the establishment. Get your signed copy of the making of the President right now at Infowarsstore.com.